I would never get tired of sharing beading and embellishment videos with you all because they always, always come through when it comes to accessorizing and embellishing basic outfits and turning them into luxury masterpieces for designers. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all a new beading pattern that is sure to transform your dresses and hair accessories from looking basic to looking absolutely stunning. We're going to be creating the curved beading pattern in this video. If you would like to know all about this process, please endeavor to watch this video to the end subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll be the first to know anytime i post a new video share this video with your friends and family and don't hesitate to drop me questions suggestions and feedback down in the comment section all right guys let's get straight into today's video let's go <laughs> The first thing you want to do is to draw your pattern on whatever fabric or portion of an outfit you're trying to bead on, okay? If you're trying to bead on the waist point, on the neckline, on the sleeve, on the front or the bust, whatever, okay? Even if it's on the hip point of whatever outfit it is that you're trying to bead on, draw your pattern first of all and please use a fabric marker or your tailor's chalk all right don't use biro like me i'm using biro because i need the color of what i'm doing to show properly on camera so you guys can see don't do this all right i just need to point that out all right so this is me just freehand drawing the pattern on this piece of fabric this fabric is called felt i get questions about this about this a lot okay so it's called felt and i like to use it for tutorials this is the bead i'm using i'm using seed beads okay in color blue and i'm using the size 12 beading needle and a piece of polyester thread use any type of bead you like the beads that will be perfect for this type of beading work are your seed beads your sand beads your glass beads okay your broken beads you could use those types of beads all right but feel free to do whatever you like ultimately you could also use sequins and i'm also going to be showing us how we can incorporate sequins into this design in this particular tutorial so endeavor that you're not distracted and watch this video to the end i hope you guys saw the way i passed my needle and thread at this point you want to pay attention you are passing your needle such that it's just going through the fabric it's not getting to the back of the fabric can you guys see what i did there if you didn't see i'm going to do this a couple more times just so you get the gist watch closely and when using polyester thread in beading chances are you would get situations where your thread might tangle up take your time to just loosen it up and then continue your work if you are also using invisible thread invisible invisible thread tangles up a lot i think that's why a lot of beaders don't like to use it but ultimately that's still the best option because it just allows your work look incredibly neat but the downside the con of using invisible thread is that it will tangle up on you and it will test your patience basically so yeah that's just something i need to point out just in case you're working and doing these things on your own and you're like oh my god is this how this thing usually tangles up yes that's how it does so you need a lot of patience all right also, you can use fishing line, but the problem with fishing line, as most people might have noticed, is that with fishing line, when you knot up your work, it tends to be chunky and it just doesn't give the effect that polyester thread and invisible thread would typically give in beading ball. Ultimately, the choice is yours, so just use whatever piece of item you like. Can you see how my thread has just been tangling up? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So, also, I'm picking up seven pieces of sand beads or seed beads. Honestly, I don't know. I'm just picking up seven pieces of these beads. Feel free to tweak it. You can pick four, you can pick three. Just do it the way you like okay i just like to come here with inspiration like i always say and allow you guys just do whatever you please with with whatever inspiration it is that i bring on here and with counting okay when you start off your work with four beads for example maintain that same number till you finish up the curve that you're working on don't pick four bead then i pick five then i pick six pick seven like your work will not give what it's supposed to give okay you need to maintain the uniformity of your beads if you're starting with four maintain that four if you are starting with five maintain that five if you are starting with seven maintain that seven until you get to the end of the curve and just do something beautiful all right beading can be very therapeutic okay if you need something that will allow you to just focus like this is something you should add to your um hobby or side hustle or something that you like to do even after you've made a dress with your tailor and you're like oh, this dress is too basic and you you're just looking for something to keep yourself busy or something to just accessorize your dress with just pick up your beads and bead on the pattern if it's ankara fabric just look for some parts of the ankara and bead on it and just transform your dress or whatever outfit it is into something absolutely beautiful i'm going to keep quiet now and probably speed up things so we don't get bored before we move to the next type of 
spiral beading pattern that we are going to be working on in this video if you enjoy watching which i'm sure you would okay please remember to like the video if you're not subscribed to the channel as well what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button i'd love to have you as part of this online community that i'm growing on here on youtube please subscribe and remember to also turn on the bell notification right beside the subscribe button that bell is going to help you know whenever i drop a tutorial and you'll be the first to know that the tutorial is up on the channel and you can come watch okay all right guys i'm going to keep quiet now i like you guys pay attention also if you have questions please don't hesitate to drop me questions in the comment section okay i'm always happy to read from you guys all right so please watch and then when we get to the end of this portion we'll move on to the next stage in this particular tutorial All right, guys, so I'm pretty much almost done with this spiral. But what is a Fumibi Olawari Designs tutorial without something sparkly, without a tono tono item? So I decided to add clothstone into the center of this spiral. There are different types of cluster stones that we have as you guys already know my last tutorial was all about cluster stones so if you've not seen that video please go check it out but i decided to use this piece of silver cluster stone at the center and just in case you don't know how to sew cluster stone onto fabric you could watch this but i have a separate tutorial where all i did in that video was teach us how to attach any type of cluster stone and any size of cluster stone onto fabric you should totally check it out i linked it already if you can't watch it right now scroll to the bottom of this video in the description after watching scroll to the bottom of the description you will see the video right there feel free to watch it i'm sure you'll find it very very useful but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just sewing this piece of cluster stone at the center of this spiral can we see what i did there this is just to add a little bit of spruce spruce to this particular design so you could try it on your dresses as well after sewing your spiral just in case everything is still looking too basic and you're trying to just light up the entire look feel free to add a piece of cloth stone or any other type of gem that you like to the style and just make something incredibly beautiful right after attaching this cloth stone to the center of the spiral i'm also going to go ahead to just complete the spiral and close it up and then it's be time for us to move on to the next type of spiral beading pattern that you can create okay and this time we'll be using what we call sequence i have a whole tutorial also on my channel where i talk about different types of gems and embellishment options for designers okay feel free to check out that video there i spoke about cluster stones sequence rhinestones different things honestly like that video is really really insightful so feel free to go check it out i'll also link it on the screen for you but in this video i'm going to talk about how you can use sequence to create a gorgeous spiral design if you remember or if you looked at what we have on my thumbnail that picture is a dress that was made by vicky james and she used sequence to create the spiral beading pattern that she did on that particular actual key skirt and blouse and honestly you guys can see that that dress looked absolutely gorgeous so yeah i'm going to move on to that stage right after we complete this spiral like so all right and Pay attention again so yeah this is the end of the spiral this is what we have here imagine this or maybe the neck point of a dress or on the sleeve or something like imagine incorporating this it will look absolutely gorgeous this is me just tidying up my beading okay by just knotting up this is how you just knot up you pass your thread and then just knot it up like so and then cut off whatever excess you have so this is the sequence i'm working with i'm working with those silver colored sequence and i'm just picking up my needle and thread and just passing it through another line of um spiral line that i've drawn on the fabric all right and with sewing sequence i have a separate tutorial on so how to sew sequence on a straight line okay with working with curves it might get a bit complicated so i suggest that you watch my beading tutorial playlist on that playlist i have a plethora of videos on how you can start your beading journey you don't have to go to school of beading like i always say all you need is a fumibi olawari designs beading tutorial if you can just watch my videos and practice 
religiously, trust me, you will do something amazing with your work. Okay. So feel free to check out that um, playlist. Like I said, to just learn all about stuff like this, but this is how I'm going to be sewing my sequence onto the spiral. Like I said, draw your pattern first, draw your spiral and then start working your way around the spiral. Imagine if I didn't draw out these outlines and I'm just using my eyes to just gauge things. Chances are, first of all, my work will not be straight and it will just look unkept. The reason why you're drawing your pattern is to maintain uniformity and cleanliness with the end result of your work. So I'm going to keep quiet now. I'll let you guys watch the way I'm just sewing on this sequence around this spiral and then I'll just do a couple more stuff here and there and then we'll see the final result of this particular tutorial. Again, if you've not, if you forgot, okay, if you don't remember to hit the like button, this is another gentle reminder to please, please, please hit the like button. That's how I know that you guys got value from watching any one of my video. Most times as creators, when we post videos on here, it's hard for us to get feedback from you guys, especially for those that are always shy to comment. But when we see the number of likes that we get on a video, we know that, okay, yeah, the people loved this video and we are able to know the kind of stuff to keep coming back with on here on our, you know, on our channels on youtube okay so please like the video also if you have not subscribed please don't wait for any reason just go ahead to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification so you'll be the first to know anytime i have a video also if after watching all the way to the end you still have questions please ask all right friends so this is how far i went with the curved beading pattern so as you all might know this fabric that i'm using is called felt f-e-l-t because i know someone will probably still ask me again but it's called felt however if you are doing this on a dress or on a headpiece you can just instead of drawing on just like a flat piece of fabric like this just draw the pattern they are trying to create on your dress okay right after you know either you sew this or you received it from a fashion designer draw out the pattern you are trying to create i simply just did this um scribble kind of thing on this piece of fabric because this is supposed to be a tutorial okay so you draw out the pattern follow the follow the lines that you've drawn and create gorgeous designs i incorporated sequence here so you can use sequins, you can use beads, you can even use cloth stones, okay? Feel free to come up with your own twist to the design, but I hope you guys got the gist of this particular tutorial. If you did, please be sure to like this video. Please hit the like button. Also, if you're not subscribed, please do well to subscribe to the channel. I share insightful tutorials similar to what you just watched on here on the channel and i have a lot a whole library of videos that will be very helpful to you and your business or to your friend okay if you have a friend share this channel with the person and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and i can't wait to see you in another one bye